Welcome back to It's Tool Thing. Today with another tool haul video. I actually uh, picked up quite a few items here to, over the weekend. Um, kind of get into some details on some of it. But uh, I picked up these gear wrench uh, hose, hose pliers. Uh, they're actually in pretty decent shape. I don't know if I'm going to like them, but end up paying some bucks for them. So I thought I'd give them a shot, try them out. They do have the locking little recess thing here for so it'll kind of hold it in place as you ratchets down. So I'm gonna give those a shot. For seven bucks, that was a pretty good deal. I picked up these Nipex Cobras. Uh, they're actually in pretty good shape. A little rust on them. Not too bad though. Jaws look pretty good shape. I uh, picked those up. They had eight. 850 on them. that the other thing wasn't even priced but i picked them up for seven bucks i bought both these at the same location so i was happy to pick those up add them to my fleet uh seven bucks i thought it was a pretty good price and then i picked up or we'll switched back to this one here say uh cornwall usa 24 inch long flex head ratchet uh, I'm really not a fan of these Cornwell handles but uh, one thing I do like about them I actually have another one of these already is the uh, shaft size on these is a bigger shaft diameter so they don't flex quite as much um, part number on this thing is a you can see that there there you go um, SRF 76 uh, I counted this thing I could have swore these things were like 40 some teeth um, but I counted this thing and I was getting like 39 or something. I, I may have miscounted. But uh, even though it's not the, you know, an 80 tooth count, it's actually got a pretty smooth action in it. So really, it's usually not too bad. And a lot of times when you use this thing, you're really pulling hard anyway. So I know you, they say the smaller teeth are actually stronger, but the big ones seem like they're pretty strong too. Um, this is the snap ring design. But all in all, it's uh, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, I picked it up for eighty dollars. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna grab the other one from down below me. See if it's the same model. I know it's a black one, so it might be slightly different. I don't remember, I was curious though. So. FRF F R F S R F Yeah, I think it's uh basically the same model other than the black finish, industrial style finish. Um thinking I'm probably gonna get uh maybe get rid of my Matco one or uh maybe take it home or something. Haven't made up my final decisions yet. But I don't have a 24 inch one at home or 24 inch inch one at home, so it'll be nice to get one there permanently. But $80, I thought that was a pretty good price. And then these other items here, I bought them at uh, two separate places, but they're uh, kind of a lesson in, you know, kind of waiting, seeing how it plays out. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. A lot of times you lose, to be honest. Obviously, if it's an item that you really need or really want, you know if you can get a good price just pick it up but all of these items here these uh, sockets cornwell and the blue point set actually were all on clearance at uh, two different pawn shops so i got this uh 3h drive it's actually complete both these sets are complete or all three i should say sets are actually complete which is unusual um never been a fan of these blue point ratchets so i can't say i've ever used one I'm generally not a fan of the blue point stuff just because it's not built and made in the USA, but uh the ratchet's a BPR FR 938. But it is fairly smooth. It's got a kind of a funky grip. And it is 
metric six to to 19 and they're all uh, six point in the shallows let me double check here yeah it's a complete set as far as not skipping any sizes and then all of the deep wells are 12 point and same up here for the standards um, 5 sixteenths to 3 quarter having a hard time popping that one out here with my fingers yeah grab these other ones um, once again these are all 6 point and then these are all 12 point I've heard these cases have a lifetime warranty and they had two of the sockets they had a couple of them mixed up but they had these two sockets switched and I kind of had to push down pretty hard to get this one to stay in there. It seems like it's holding now, but like this had gotten spread a little bit because it would it would fall out when you went to close it. But it has, uh, what is it, the, about a three inch extension and then a five or six inch here extension, quarter drive adapter, universal, and then a quarter drive the other way down to a quarter drive socket i picked this set up for 75 dollars uh, they originally had 175 on this set i don't know what the list is on it but i thought 75 dollars that'd probably be pretty good to stick in a vehicle somewhere uh with that probably with that i've been using that uh can't quite get it to snap closed now there it goes um that Armstrong kit, that quarter drive kit, I've actually used that thing quite a few times. It's been pretty handy. So I'm thinking I might team this up with that one, put it in one of the rigs. And that tool, like I said, it was on clearance. They had it for 80 bucks. I ended up getting it for 75. Thought that was a pretty fair price. But basically, I waited them out. This one actually wasn't there that long, maybe six, eight months. Um, whereas both of these. Cornwall sets of sockets, um, half inch drive, standards, and you can see that part number there if it'll come in clear or not for you. It's got a kind of a line, it looks like it's an STI-321-2LS I believe. It is 6.7 to inch and an eighth. But uh, they've definitely been used a little bit, but they're, you can see the cobwebs inside. When it comes through, there you go. Um, but it's a complete set. It does have the kind of taper. It's got some rust and whatnot. But they are uh, USA made sockets, Cornwall branded. Uh, they're not in perfect shape by no means. But functionality wise, um, they don't look too bad. They're not all mushroomed out or anything. You can see there's only a few sizes that have really been used quite a bit. But I've actually known known about these sets for, shoot, I don't know, two or three years now probably. It's been a long time. It's a little itty bitty mom and pop pawn shop. Um, this set here, again, Cornwell, USA branded. I don't know if that's showing up on screen. Well, this set is it's actually a slightly different set. It's kind of weird they're not the exact same sizes. Um, this one goes slightly bigger and slightly smaller. That up there, see if you can get the, read that. It's an STI-32155, I believe. Set six point three eighths to uh inch and a quarter once again all usa made well you can also see on this one here i'll grab this one it's pretty fuzzy you can see these things have been sitting there for a while this is an inch and an eighth it looks like it must have an inch and a six three sixteenths too that's cool yep um but they're need to be cleaned up a little bit probably gonna end up going in the shop truck i think uh, i need to actually kind of look through them and i'll have to sell some of my other ones 
Uh, I've got some craftsman ones. In fact, my my set of the shallows in the shop are still the same set I bought. Brand new craftsman's. I paid 50 bucks for them at Sears, probably 30 years ago, mid 90s. Um, never broke one, so they've been pretty good. But it's always nice to upgrade. But they've actually had these things for a couple of years. And um, I ended up picking the sets up. They they had $89 on each set when I went in there this weekend. I ended up picking them up for $60 a set. And originally, the pawn shop was asking uh, $159 for this set for the shallows, even though there's more pieces. And uh, $179, I believe, unless I got the tags mixed up. Um, but one set was listed at 179 and one set was at 159 But if I remember right, this the shallow set was cheaper uh, originally. But uh, I was actually surprised she took the, or made me a counter offer, I should say. They didn't, she didn't actually take my offer. I offered her 50 bucks a set. But uh, she said she'd do 60 And she even let me use the card, which that, that store hates using credit cards. I would have gone and got cash. So what do you think? What was my uh, my best purchase here? Was it the Blue Point set? The Cornwell Half Inch Impacts? Um, or the Cornwell Ratchet? Or maybe the pliers? I think uh, value wise, it might be the Blue Point set, I think. Um, I mean, these can't be cheap if you bought them today either. But uh, I know Blue Point stuff seems to be pretty expensive. Speaking of that, that Blue Point kit number, which I forgot to mention before, is a, uh, you can see it there, a BLP GSS 3849. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment down below, and as always, have a great day.